Hi, this is Gary Gibson speaking. I'm going to introduce the uh, Tronics One Basic Electronic Fundamental Concepts Lab. This lab is for introducing electronics for robotics and anybody going into the future of being an engineer, working in the medical field, and etc. We've designed this lab to teach the basic concepts of the electronic components used in all of the products today and it starts out the first thing you do is you take inventory of all the parts one of the parts that we use like in all of your radios and so forth is a speaker then we have some battery snaps and we have some transistors these words all might sound strange to you at first but all of our electronic products today use these then we have an integrated circuit it's called the 555 timer it has eight little legs on the bottom and we use that in our circuits. Here's a photocell which is a photodependent resistor. We use a solderless breadboard to plug all of these parts in to build the circuits. Then we have some ceramic capacitors. We have some LEDs that are red lights that light up and they're used in all the computers and things today. There's a push button switch. There's a diode that allows electrons to go through one way only. Then you have an SCR, and we explain what all of these parts are in this lab. Here are some electrolytic capacitors, some resistors. We have quite a few resistors that we use in here. We teach about how all of these work, how to read the resistor color code, and etc. This is one of the most fun and exciting labs for students to learn with. They get very excited about it. They want to start inventing things and creating things, and we need all those little creative minds to build all the products that we'll need in the future, and this lab is the basis of all that. And here's a variable pot potentiometer, like what's used in a radio to adjust the volume and etc. Those are the parts it's just that simple. They, the first job that the student does is take inventory and lay all of these parts all over their uh, inventory sheet here. Okay, once the inventory is taken, we can set these parts aside. And I'll take you through the basics of this lab. We'll gather up all the resistors. These are easily stored in a small space and reusable. Okay, as we flip the page, the next part of the manual goes into what each component does in its basic function. They can take their time and read this. We have some marvelous software that will go on your computer if you'd like that will enhance the learning that you're doing here. As we turn the page, we go into some more of the, the uh, components and their schematic symbols. The first lesson has to do with the flow of electrons going from atom to atom being that's what electricity is all about and electronics is we use to control that here's the resistors here are these little resistors and with their color bands on them and this is showing how to read the color bands then over here we talk about the solderless breadboard what all these little holes are and how the solderless board works you flip the page and we explain that instead of soldering the pieces together we use a solderless breadboard to build all of our circuits the next one is capacitors, how you read the values on the capacitors. The next lesson is how does a resistor work? You take your solderless breadboard, you can put it right here, you pick up the parts including your battery snap and your LED and some resistors and you build this circuit. What's over here? This is the inventory of what you need to build this circuit over here. So it has one, two, three, four, five resistors, an LED, and a battery snap. And you use that and you build the circuit. And then this wire that's over here, you touch each resistor lead and the light will change brightness depending on which resistor is in series with that light. So this is a lesson on how the resistor works. Okay, then after we've studied how the resistor works and so forth, and again, I tell you there's software that can go with this if you like, or you can just use the book. The next page, we're going to learn how a potentiometer works. So you get your potentiometer, you get your LED, and a resistor, and as you adjust and twist the knob, the brightness of the LED gets less and brighter, and it will demonstrate how a potentiometer or variable resistor works. And again, here's your 
inventory that you need for this particular one. Then we teach about the photocell, the variable resistor. As light hits a photocell, its resistance changes, and we use this in many products today. The next one, especially in today's world where we're getting into photo products and photovoltaic cells and etc. The next lesson we go into is about how the capacitor works. And the next lesson we go in is how does a speaker work? That's a real interesting device and in this lesson we explain that. Then we continue on about what's a diode do, what does an SCR do and how does that work. Then we continue and we explain how a transistor works. Then we explain how the NPN transistor works and we continue on to where we take two transistors and we make an oscillator. And the final lesson in the basic components is how does a 555 timer, how does this little integrated circuit work? This is a quick introduction to the Tronix One Lab. It's one of the most enjoyable experiences and yet it's the basis of all of our technology today.